are you building a new hospital and you have lots of queries in your mind like what is the area which is required to build a hospital what is the price and what is the cost per bed what are the various norms which are applicable to build a new hospital hi i am tarun katiyar through this video i'll be throwing some light on basic tips on planning and designing and helping you out to answer all your questions before we share our knowledge and thoughts on basic tips on hospital planning and designing make sure you'll subscribe our channel so that whenever we'll upload new thoughts and ideas on healthcare architecture design you'll get notified hi so are you building a new hospital if yes please in the comment section say yes if not then just say for learning look forward for your comments today we'll be sharing thoughts on basic steps on planning and designing of a hospital so what are the basic steps which has to be considered during planning and designing a new healthcare facility the first and foremost thing when you are planning to build a new hospital the first thing what you have to do is prepare your wish list what is a wish list what are you want to build it up in terms of how many bedded hospital you want to build what are the specialties you want to uh, cater to the patients what are the facility mix be it ct scan mri what are the departments which you want to continue as in house or outsource for an example cafeteria or a cssd or might be a laundry so would you be interested to have in house laundry or a outsource laundry so with completion on this wish list you will have a complete departments what you are planning to build it up so once your wish list is completed with the help of your architect you have to work on the maximum construction area which is allowed on the plot what we are being procured this can be done with the proper calculations with the help of your local architect once you are aware about what are the norms you will be happy to know how many beds can be accommodate in your plot so i'll give you an example typically there is a thumb rule which says per bed there would be a requirement of 600 square feet of area so for an example if you are building up a 60000 square feet of area this 60000 can easily accommodate more than 100 beds accordingly you can plan your facility so once your square feet is final you understand your wish list is clear the third most important part which comes is the space planning as well as the stagger diagram what is space planning space planning is basically which department requires how much square feet of area so there are various norms like nabh jcis and other accreditation norms this will help you out to tell you what would be the requirement of per department i'll give an example in ot it is very clearly mentioned in nabh the ot should be 20 by 20 square feet of area it means you will be needing 400 square feet area for a ot similarly you have to identify and do a space programming for all the department what you need in your proposed hospital after you are through with your uh, uh, space planning you parallelly you have to do a stagger diagram also stagger means which helps you out to define which department is supposed to be there on which floor for an example basement would be for the parking and the support system ground floor would be for the diagnostics opd and the casualty first floor can be for ot and the icu and the above floors can take care of your residential block for the patients so once your stagger diagram and space planning is done you have to start doing the zoning till which area patient can travel till which area the patient related can visit or till which area the doctor should travel so those zoning should help you out in identification of the circulation of various people in various department once you are through with all this i think you are need to sit with your architecture team and say fine what is the various requirement for the various departments so typically every department has a various norms for an example pharmacy as per fda there should be a minimum 150 square feet of area which is required so once you are through with the requirement your architect will support you out in hospital planning and designing of various departments hope i think with this video it would support you in building up your hospital 
If you have further more questions, queries, you can write to me on tarun.k at hhbc.in or there is a subscription, there is a link which is given below. You can visit our website for more queries or you can write it us on the email ID which is mentioned in the link. Thank you.